This is Jeff Foster with WebBizIdeas.com. Today, I will be going over how webmasters and internet marketers can use Google Alerts to their advantage. So what are Google Alerts meant for? Google Alerts are automated email messages sent from Google to anyone who has registered for a particular term or subject, informing them of a new result on that term or subject. For example, if you register at Google Alerts requesting them to send you alerts about new inventions, every time Google finds and indexes a new page about new inventions, Google sends you an email with the website address and a short description. Can you see the advantage to an internet business owner whose website is about, say, new inventions? Yes, a smart webmaster and internet marketer will constantly stay informed on industry news. The beauty about this service is that Google allows for many customizations. Before we go any further, I'd recommend you go to google.com slash alerts and register quick so I can teach you how to correctly set up your account. Google Alerts account is easy. Once you're on the homepage, you'll want to type in your search term. I like following social networking trends, so I will type in social networking. Step two is selecting the type alert that you'll like to receive. There are currently six different alerts. News, blogs, web, comprehensive, video, and groups. A news alert will send you the latest news articles that contain the search term by email which appear in the top 10 results of your Google News search. A blog alert is the same thing but for blogs, web for web pages. A comprehensive will send you an email of all three of those and video and groups are pretty self-explanatory. The third step is selecting how often that you like to receive it. I usually select as it happens because I want to know exactly when Google indexes a new page and I want to be the first person to know about it. Step four, type in your email address and you're finished. Once you have your Google alert set up, Google gives you an option to manage that alert. Now most of the editing is pretty basic so I won't get into that but what I do want to draw your attention to are the keywords that I have quotes around and the keywords that I do not have quotes around. See, Google Alerts is set up very similar to their pay-per-click advertising. If you don't have quotes around the keywords, you will receive what is called a general or a broad match instead of an exact match. If you are receiving too many email alerts, I suggest inserting quotes around your keywords. Now, come to think about it, I have been get receiving a lot of emails about inventions, the history of inventions, invention ideas, but what I really wanted are just alerts on new inventions. So I'm going to insert quotes around that and I'll hit save. Now I'll receive alerts just on new inventions. Now there are a lot more settings than what I showed you, but you can go to our website or Google Alerts to read about the more advanced settings. Next I want to answer the question of who uses Google Alerts. Now the general public uses it to track news stories, see how popular items are doing, find new movie reviews, track new software releases, and just track news in general. But that's not why I use it. I use it to stay ahead of my competitors. I use it to increase website traffic. I also use it to increase search engine rankings in many cases. Next I will show you how to use Google Alerts to stay ahead of your competitors. Now before I can stay ahead, I need a benchmark to figure out where our company stands. Now as many of you know, you can type in the word link, colon, and then your website into Google, and Google will show you web pages that link back to you. As many of you also know, Google only shows a fraction of the websites that link back to you. Hopefully I have more than 212 incoming links. It provides a great solution to this problem. All you need to do is type in that same code into Google Alerts and now Google will email you every time a new web page links back to you. Now you'll want to do this for your competitors as well because you want to compare and contrast. You want to receive more inbound links than they are or at least more quality ones and this is a great way to monitor that. Now there are other phrases you can type in as well, like the word cache, that will tell you how often Google caches new pages, or site, 
That will tell you or let you monitor how many new pages Google indexes for your company. Next I will be talking about how you can increase your traffic and your search engine rankings using Google Alerts. This can be a little time consuming, but it is 100% free and very effective. Let me give you an example. Webbiz Ideas wants to be known for and rank well for the keyword phrase Internet Business Ideas. We use Google Alerts to be notified any time a new page is indexed that mentions that keyword. Usually we get alerts for the new blog articles written. So we go to the blog, read it, and then respond with a useful comment. It is important that you post responses that contribute to the article. Otherwise, the blogger won't approve your response. In order to become number one for the keyword internet business ideas, WebBiz Ideas needs to build as many backlinks as possible for that keyword. When we post blog responses, we insert that keyword when it asks us for our name. So instead of putting Jeff Foster, I put the word internet business ideas. When it asks us for our URL, we put in the web pages we are trying to optimize for. All blogs default your name to your URL, so by doing this, we build backlinks. A word of caution. Do you notice anything different in the post below? Why is WebBiz Ideas highlighted in red? It is highlighted because I am viewing the post I made in Firefox using SEO for Firefox. You can see most blogs default all blog comments as nofollow links. SEO for Firefox highlights all nofollow links in red. See, back a few years ago, Google's war on paid links and spam caused the industry to follow Google's recommendation on adding nofollow links to blogs and forums. The nofollow above basically means that this link will not help us increase our page rank for Google. For more information on this, you can view our blog. But for now, should this stop you from posting a comment? No. 95% of all blogs have this attribute. Google has publicly stated that no follow links will not affect page rank, but never said it will not affect the overall link value, which really matters. I have seen sites dramatically improve their rankings with heavy emphasis on blog commenting. Whether they count or whether they do not count, I post comments and suggest you only post comments on blogs when you have something to say. If I don't have an opinion, I don't post a response. WebBiz Ideas still receives traffic and brand awareness from the comments I post. So to summarize, you now know a general internet user can use Google Alerts to stay up to date on new web pages, blog articles, and even video. But as a webmaster or internet marketer, you now know you can use Google Alerts to track incoming links or your company name, as well as increasing your brand awareness and possibly link value to specific pages. Another great tool to force you to stay addicted to Google.